Ooh, I'm looking real Muslim today with my lock sock on. Ow, ow. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I should be recording in landscape. Oh, well. Um, this is going to be a, as you can see, this is a very uh, casual video here. But I, um, I just woke up not too long ago and um, I was reading the comment section of my last video um, that I posted of me um, detangling um, the young girl's matted hair. And <clears throat> there's a couple of things I wanted to address um, off of that video. First off, somebody mentioned um, whether or not using fine tooth comb, a fine tooth comb is better on um, wavy or, or looser textured hair. Um, um, I don't know if you were asking that question because you saw me using a fine tooth comb to get through the tangles, but um, actually, I use a fine tooth comb no matter what texture it is when I'm dealing with a situation like that. Um, strangely enough, it gets the job done more efficiently, and um, you lose less hair in the process. Um, with situations like that, you literally have to go through the hair strand by strand and make sure that you are removing all the tangles, all the, the strands from being wrapped and intertwined around each other. And the only way to really ensure that is to go through with the fine tooth comb. Now I do, the hair is saturated with water and conditioner, which aids in elasticity and slip and stuff. So you're not just ripping through the hair, but um, again, you have to know what you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, I'm a professional. And like I said, I have an understanding of curls and texture, so I don't, I don't equate certain tools or certain methods to any specific texture. I approach each head of hair differently, um, and I uh, adjust my methods according to the needs of the situation. So, um, what I did notice is that for her texture, um, paddle brushes didn't work as well. Um, fine, not fine tooth comb, but the, the wide tooth comb that's a little more spaced out, um, that actually worked better for her hair, um, and didn't pull it or tug at her hair as much. Um, so that's that. Um, I've used fine tooth combs on various textures of natural hair. If you go back and look at my straw set video that I did on my sister's hair, more than likely I used a fine tooth comb to, uh, smooth through the hair before setting it on the straws. Um, if you go back and look at me starting Henny's locks, probably like three years ago, I used a fine tooth comb to do her comb coils. So it's not that you can't use fine tooth combs, it's that people don't know when it's appropriate and how to use fine tooth combs on natural hair. Um, and I hear people say all the time, well I went to a hairstylist and she was using a fine tooth comb and I was like, oh girl, she don't know what she talking about, she don't know what she doing. That's not necessarily the case. You know, it, it, it just, that's not necessarily the case. Um, and I'm believe it at that. Um, now, the next thing I want to address is, uh, I, I, I was reading the comments in that, that last video. And I saw a lot of questions of people asking, well, is is the mother white? Is one of the parents white? Or, or is she mixed? You know, how do they let the child's hair get like this? And you know, I I just I just wanted to address that. And I, I felt like I couldn't address it in a a comment that's a thousand characters or less. So I just wanted to make a uh, a video touching on this real quickly. Um first off, why does it matter what race the parents are or what race the child is? Why does it matter? I feel like people ask that question so that they know how much judgment to place on an individual. Because I feel like there's a double standard. I feel as though, had I say, oh, well, one of the parents was white. The people be like, oh, yeah, see, I knew it. Mm -hmm. I, I knew she, I knew that's why her hair was like that. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Um, the mother was indeed Caucasian. But, again, that doesn't matter. Because 
if you are dealing with a texture that you're not familiar with, of course you're going to have a harder time, you know, getting um, acclimated to dealing with that sort of texture. And that goes for anybody. You don't have to be Caucasian for that. There's plenty of black parents out here that are black, have the same texture as their child's hair, but don't know what the hell they're doing as far as maintaining their child's hair and their child's hair being in a way worse condition than just being a little matted and tangled. If we really want to go there, I feel like it's a double standard. And I'm not saying all of this to bash anyone. I'm just putting it out there on the table so that you can take it in and take a step back and observe yourself from the outside in because you guys are become, are looking very, very judgmental. And this is part of the reason why I even waited this long to post any of my clients on here because this is the internet. Internet. Sorry, I'm still waking up. A little congested. This is the internet. And I know that... <sighs> Um, when you post anything online, people are going to have their opinions and they're going to voice their opinions on, on certain stuff. I get it. Um, but going forward, um, I just, I know my viewers from everybody else. I just want you guys to be more aware of not being so judgmental on clients because you don't, you don't know these people's situation. You don't know these people's situation to judge them. Or, or, you know, make assumptions about them. Because if we really want to go there, if we really want to go there about this parent being white and her child having matted hair, I can say this. That child's hair was in much better condition than some of these black parents' children that I've been seeing. Some of y'all out here destroying y'all little baby's heads and ain't no white person in the picture. Y'all, y'all want to hold white people uh, to a, a, a harder, harsher standard than you do your own people, which is the craziest thing. If you look at the baby's hair in the video, the baby got hair. She not bald headed. She ain't got no bald patches. You saw I did her hair, and she had length. Her braids were swinging. She couldn't keep her hands out of her hair. She ain't had no heat damage. She had all her edges. It's funny how y'all want to judge uh, judge people for being Caucasian and not being familiar with the texture. But, strangely enough, she was much more knowledgeable about natural hair than some of these other black people I've, I've encountered. She knew better than to take her child's to uh, the Dominicans to get their hair blonde. She knew better than to allow anyone to talk her into relaxing her baby's hair. She knew that she needed to keep heat away from her daughter's hair as a no blow drying, no flat iron. So while y'all want to assume that, you know, she's inept in, uh, to uh, handling natural hair... If we really, if we really want to go there, she knew more about natural hair than some of y'all do, and um, cause some of y'all take y'all baby's hair to the Africans, they pulling out your baby's edges. Y'all keep y'all baby in weave and box braids, hair getting uh busted, traction alopecia all over the place, split ends all over the place. You still struggling to grow your baby's hair past your ear. And I'm not I'm not doing any of this to be funny. I'm just I'm trying to show the comparison because I feel like if I say, Oh, the the, the parent was white, then I'll be like, Oh yeah, look at her. This is why they don't need to be dealing with our being dad. And it and it's it's not it's not even that deep, y'all. It's not even that deep. So just going forward, I just want everyone to really just just take a step back and really observe yourself from the outside in and really do some self reflecting because we can't, we're not going to have that going forward. If, if it's going to be like that, I'm just not going to post nobody on, on the channel. Like, because I'm just not. I'm just not. So, <sighs> yeah, that's all I want to say. I'm about to get up and get my day started. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, it's funny, I'm, I'm shooting out these videos. This is so much fun. I should have been doing this from the get-go. Why did I Why did I let the pressures of YouTube make me think I had to do all these crazy editing and, and, and stuff? 
<sighs> just to make videos. This is this is very fun. It's very fun. It's very relaxing. You know, I don't have to stress. You know, the hardest part is just uploading the video. Maybe going in and doing a little editing. But uh, it's actually it's working out pretty good. So y'all should see me fairly soon. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, be blessed.